All right, we're talking about uh, thermal monocular today. Uh, this IR Inc. V I S I R Inc. dot com uh, was nice enough to provide a thermal monocular for us to test and evaluate. It's made by Infrared. It's called the I E three W, and it comes in this uh, package here. So real quick, unbox it. Comes with a set of instructions. I'll attempt to uh, verbally go through those in this intro video today. Comes with a power supply block, a cable in order to charge it. I'm going to call it a proprietary USB, but it's actually an older version of USB. Um, you'll have a hard time finding one of these, so don't lose that cord. Cable to uh, connect a external video recorder or connect it to a monitor if you like through an RCA connection. So that's through that USB connection on the IE3W to your device. Packaging's pretty straightforward. The unit itself is lightweight, 384 by 288 sensor, has a 19 millimeter front lens, fixed focus, in other words you cannot correct the focus for near and far on the front, so it's a fixed focus unit. It's 50 hertz refresh rate, 17 micron sensor. The E3W is rated at seven hours of continuous use on a single full charge. You do charge it through that top port right here, USB port. has a nice cover to conceal it and keep any uh, rain or dirt from intruding into that has a standard tripod attachment shoe on the bottom with a lanyard uh, hook or uh, eyelet there so you can actually fish a lanyard through there one feature that it has is if you're in a uh, dark blind or you're moving uh, some gear around and it's dark out when the unit is powered off you can hit the menu mode labeled P button and a torch will come on so, pretty neat thought there to put a LED torch into the unit so that you can locate things at your feet or in your surroundings at night. You power on the unit by pressing and holding this front button for two seconds. It's not labeled other than it has a power symbol on it. So you press and hold for two seconds. Startups rather quick, um, I would say in the vicinity of 10 seconds. Displays infrared on the startup. Okay, we are going. Uh, we are hot here with an image. There is an eye box focus on the back. That'll clear up any blurriness of the icons or menus. Uh, it has two modes of calibration: an automatic mode or a shutter mode, where you would close that and nuke it. Again, the P button or mode button is going to cycle through the color palettes. So leave. Let's see, target, white hot, black hot, red alert, and uh, like a rainbow pseudo color. So actually there's five. Then we, the second button here in the middle is going to have a magnifying glass on it and that's going to activate the digital zoom. So with the unit on, in the upper left it says times one for native magnification. Press the magnifying glass middle button one time, it goes to times two and it digitally zooms. One more time, times four, digitally zooms. And again pressing it takes you back to times one base magnification. The final button on the E3W has a picture of a camera on it. And this is going to be your uh, image capture or your recording, onboard recording. So a real quick press of that button displays an icon of a camera in the middle of the screen and a slight freeze where it takes a uh, picture. And then a long press for three seconds and a release in the upper right corner is going to be a red circle with a timer indicating it is recording. In order to successfully save that video file, you need to press and hold that camera button again for three seconds to terminate the recording. 
So rather straightforward and simplistic in uh, layout and features, which is handy to have in a small compact unit. Uh, you don't want to be too complicated in trying to operate these things at night, so I can appreciate the simplicity there. One press of the power button while in normal operation is going to take you to a standby mode where the display is going to shut off and you'll save your battery consumption by not running the display. There's an LED behind these buttons that's going to flash green to indicate that it is powered on but it's in standby. While in standby, the torch won't work, so that's another indicator that you actually are in standby and not off. Pressing the power button again one time immediately brings the scope back up to operation, so you don't have that 10 to 12 second startup to go through with the infrared splash screen, but when you bring it out of standby, it's going to come right back on and you're back in action. Pressing and holding the digital zoom button for three seconds is going to bring up a long menu on the left side of the display. The very top option is Wi-Fi, so you can activate Wi-Fi. It'll create a hotspot from the actual device, E3W. Then you can utilize your phone, a tablet, to log on to the device and create a sync so that someone else or yourself, you can monitor the video images from a secondary uh, device. So it does have Wi-Fi hotspot. Second long menu option is screen brightness. Hitting the center button, the digital zoom button will toggle through four different screen brightnesses. You have a video uh, streaming out icon as the third one down. So if you don't want to use the onboard recording and you want to use that cable for an RCA connection to stream out a video, you would activate it there. Uh, the fourth option is that automatic nuke or the shuttered nuke. The fifth option is a picture-in-picture -picture window, which will display times two of the magnification you're in in a box top dead center. Then it has an information uh, icon that tells you what your E3W is running in terms of system and firmware, part number, serial number, hardware number, all that good stuff. And then you have a factory uh, reset uh, function. There is also a uh, system standby feature, which is right above the system information button. It's on or off. And I don't use it, but essentially if, you, uh, if there's no activity in the, in the unit, it'll shut down um, automatically to save your battery. So that sums up the uh, basic features and operation of the Infrared E3W. Standard uh, usage of something like this would be obviously nighttime observation, um, camping, outdoors activities. Uh, you can use it to peer around your home or your ranch if you hear your dogs outside and, or your livestock and they're going crazy. And you simply just fire up your E3W, step outside, take a peek and see what you've got going on. It does not work through glass windows or automobile glass so you won't be able to see from inside the house out so you will have to step out or open a window. Uh, also I, I use this device for uh, search and recovery of down game. So ordinarily in our hunting setups we're covering large fields that are in the dozen of acres even up to 100 200 acre fields. A lot of uh, range to cover. So I have actually a 5.5 times base native magnification monocular that I use for that long range scanning. Quite a difference in heft and girth between the two and weight. So optimal for long range. Uh, but I can use the E3W if we're recovering game for that wide field of view and in near uh, scanning for the heat signatures of the animals that are on the ground. So really key and handy to have this in the toolkit bag and to pull it out in those situations and save your batteries on your long-range scanner and employ a purpose-built device for that type of work.